Passenger inspection. Or an ICP. I think this one's from 02. This one's going to be a little tricky. And I found one of the rings popped. position it's hard to work the camera and the camera at the same time hold on now if you look right there at the top of that ring there's a crack right there that's cracked heat exchanger right there you see it crack there and there <sighs> So this is NTG thirty seventy five from two thousand two comfort maker. Gotta check the heat exchangers. We just got done with that one um, with the cracked heat exchanger. I'll try to get a little towards this way get a little less light jeez oh pete uh but we got this was a call for furnace making making noise um and it had a bad inducer motor that's really all it had wrong with it it was the furnace was in decent condition other than the crack heat exchanger um so anytime you guys are out doing just you know the, you know this was just furnace making noise i i knew what it was as soon as i walked up to it um, but you just can't stop there. Uh, if you stop there, you're not doing your job. Uh, you're not there just to, uh, you know, the, the customer is paying you to come in. Okay. Yeah, she does have a problem, but she had no idea about the crack heat exchanger. And neither did I until I got into it. And as technicians, uh, you need to find out everything that's wrong with that furnace. Uh, if not, it will turn around and bite you in the ass every time. And it might have not happen next week. It could have happened, you know, I mean, it might have happened, you know, a month, a month from now, a year from now. So, you know, I get, I get a lot of uh, customers that, that I go out and I condemn their heat exchanger. They're like, well, I just had a service tech out here just six months ago from another company and they said everything was fine but then you start asking questions well did he do this or did he do that and he's like well no he didn't do this or he didn't do that or he you know i was down here with him the whole time and this is what he did and did he stick a camera in the heat exchanger well no he didn't do that well of course he didn't find it because he didn't look for it um or he did look for it and he was looking in the wrong spot so it's definitely uh essential and what i'm going to start doing is i'm going to start uh actually i'll start bringing furnaces back to the shop and i'm going to run through them and show you guys where to find the cracks in these heat exchangers because uh a lot of cracks get missed and even though it's very small you know it can cause a lot of problems um, sometimes they might not cause any problems at all. I could have cracks in it for years and years and years and nothing could happen. But as soon as you find it, you know it's not right. It needs to be replaced. It wasn't set from the manufacturer. It wasn't installed that way. And it shouldn't be like that. And it can cause problems. 
So just keep that in mind when you're out doing service and you, you know, like this one, we're out doing service just for a furnace making noise. I knew what it was as soon as I walked up to it, but you have to go farther. If you don't go farther, you're not doing your job. Customer also did not have a humidifier up in Michigan here in the winter. You need humidification. If you don't, you get dry skin, bloody nose, you know, you're more susceptible to uh, colds, coughs, you know, your body needs humidification. You cannot live in desert conditions, you know, 20% humidity. It's just unbearable. So keep that in mind. Keep on watching. Like and subscribe. I appreciate the comments. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thank you.